In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use R to perform Brush Pragan or BP test. The BP test is used to check whether homoscedasticity is present in the model or not. We need a model where homoscedasticity is present and to check that we can either look at the plot of residual versus predicted values or we can have we can perform the Brush Pragan test and look at the p-value. These are the hypotheses another hypothesis and alternative hypothesis for BP test. For demonstration purpose, I have taken the cement data set. It has one Y variable and four X variable. Now suppose if you fit a model in any software and if you want to perform BP test in R, you have to replicate the same model. So for demonstration purpose, I'm assuming that I have fitted a model, let's say based on the best subset regression or anything like that where y, the highlighted cells uh, are of my interest. For example, Y variable obviously is of interest, but let's say my best, best subset regression tells me that X1 and X4 are the significant variables. You may safely ignore other two. So now what I need to do is, if I'm using jump, let's say for uh, model development, then I have to replicate the same thing in R. Or in case if you're doing this analysis in R, you need not to perform some additional steps, you can directly perform Bruce Pagan test in R. Now assuming that jump says uh, like I have fitted a model uh, with x1 and x4 as independent variable and y as a dependent variable in jump, now I'm going to replicate the same thing in R. First open R studio on your system and now we need to install two libraries. These libraries will enable us to read the Excel file and also perform the Bruce Pagan test. Now the first library is install uh, is the read Excel and we have to install it if you are using R for the first time. To install that library, write install.packages within parenthesis type read Excel and then hit enter. So this library will be installed. Now we are going to install another library which is LM test. So for that also write install.packages and you will get a suggestion also if you write install or something on those lines. You can click on those suggestion and the entire thing will be auto filled for you. Within this again there are two quotation marks and uh, LM test bring your uh, cursor here and press enter and so these two libraries are installed so this you need to do only for the first time uh, when you install the R fresh I mean when you freshly install R or R studio or basically if you are updating both of these softwares now both of these libraries are uh, in already installed now what we need to do is first we need to import these libraries into our script window so this is known as a script window if this is not appearing on your system for example like this you can create a new script window by clicking here in R script so here I'm going to first import these libraries so which will enable me to read Excel file and perform the BP test so read Excel is going to enable me to is going to enable uh, R to read Excel file to execute this line, just keep your cursor somewhere here and hold command and return on Mac or if you are a Windows user, press control and enter and this line will be executed as you can see from the console window. Now the second library that I am going to import is LM test. Okay, So just keep your cursor anywhere on this line, hold command press return on Mac or else hold control and press enter on Windows. Sorry, you have to not select but just keep your cursor and do like this. Control enter or command return. Now I'm going to import the data in R. So that data is this uh, particular data which will be used to develop the regression model. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy its path and I'm going to write read Excel within quotation marks. I'm going to paste the path as well as the file name with extension. 
in windows you have to do the same thing only difference is in the windows uh, these forward slashes will be actually uh, given as these backward slashes if you copy your path so you need to ch uh, change all the backslashes to the forward slash so windows user will have to keep, keep this thing in mind and i can uh, run this particular line which is hold command and press return or hold control and press enter and as you can see the data will be uh, imported and you can preview the data now i'm going to fit a model the regression model so i'm just going to write model is equal to lm which stands for linear regression here y okay i can look at the headers here okay, what are the different different headers for each column so y is the dependent variable and then use this sign tilde which is uh, next to number one on your keyboard to the left hand side and I just need x1 and x4 as the independent variable. So here I'm just going to write x1 plus x4. Now comma data. Sorry, I'm going to change it to cement underscore data. Yeah. So data equal to cement underscore data. If you don't provide it this particular statement, it will be confused from where, uh, where to look for x1, x4 and y. So now I'm telling it if it a linear regression model, uh, which I've already determined already determined in other soft in any other software, which is y equal to beta naught plus beta one x one plus beta two x four, and the data corresponding data to that is in this particular variable. So hold command, press enter or press return on your Mac uh, for fourth line, and here I'm again going to execute this particular line. And the model will be fitted you can look at the model by typing summary model okay so this is a model with coefficients now to perform bp test you need to write bp test okay and then here write model so whatever the name you give here whatever name you give here you have to write the same name here and hold command press enter on Mac or on Windows hold control and press enter and you will see this studentized BP test and look at the p-values now referring to the hypothesis here the p-value is not low so uh, null cannot go basically we fail to reject the null hypothesis and we can say that the homoscedasticity is present in the model that means that this model is okay heteroscedasticity is not present so this is how we use the uh, BP test to check whether the uh, homoscedasticity is present in the model or not